So, uh, Rigor here from Rigor's Garage and Boat Basin. Uh, this week, uh, continue work on the 1984 Grady White. Um, working on the, uh, the starboard side uh, enclosure and also the port side enclosure to uh, get the new wood in. Um, thank God I'm, I'm finally working above the deck. I hope you enjoy the episode. Thanks for watching. I was doing demo work here in the boat and that's the all the pieces that were in the Grady White on the starboard side the floor under the, the console uh, I pulled it all out here's the here's the area where the wood came out uh, next thing I need to do is uh, uh, replace the fuel line and the vent line got to do those and then replace the uh, drain line and put a new floor in so make a progress So I'm slithering in to the nose and this this is what I'm after right here that's the drain and the hose I've got to replace uh, this is really exciting I wonder I'm looking at the hose that runs here Yep, it really sucks. I need to take that hose off. Uh, I need to come back with some tools. That appears to be a, a 5 sixteenths. And... Well, I got to apologize today. A little windy out. Uh, looks like a storm's, uh, storm is forming. Uh, got the hose out. There's the one out of the bow, and the one behind it here is the one that provides the drain in front of the captain's chair. Uh, as you can see, this, this hose is pretty much cracked. I had a heck of a time getting it out. Uh, these are basically the tools I tried. Uh, mini torch. Uh, successfully used the ratchet and 3 8 inch uh, socket to get the uh, uh, clamp off. Uh, tried the knife. Uh, there's uh, here's the the two elbows that are on the end. The one on the left is a good one. Uh, it, it turns out if you look at at this hose uh, somebody used um, a hose with uh, stainless steel wire on a line that has no pressure. Um, but you you can you can see that it's it's thoroughly cracked and and rotted. I mean, right back here, this is a a new hose. Uh, just just as a drain, as a comparison. Uh, what I ended up doing is that particular connector, cutting it off with the, uh, with the vibrating tool, and then using the uh, handy dandy vice grips, uh, not vice grips, uh, slip joint pliers or water pump pliers um, to, I just, I gave up and I just cut the, the nipple off on the uh, on the elbow and you can you can see it's it's still in the end there 
since uh, for this one, I'm just going to move. This one was by the captain's chair. This one's going back into the nose. Uh, this one's going to uh, go to the garbage. Uh, tried uh, using the razor knife. Uh, you will see the point is gone on this. Uh, something about stainless steel wire. But I finally gave up. And as you, you noticed on the other one here, I used the vibrating tool to uh, cut the end open. Uh, this end came out all right. Uh, that's the one that goes through the hull. So, well, like I say, it took three hours. I tried the mini torch. Figure maybe I heated up and softened the hose. That didn't work. Uh, it's the the big tool there with the saw with the blade on the front that that did the dirty deed, uh, along with a few choice nasty words. So uh, got the hose out. Need to go out and buy one more piece of hose for the long one there. It's seven feet long, and uh, tomorrow the. The hose goes in so I can start uh, putting things back together on the starboard side under the console there. Oh, little update. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Okay, so I was going to replace the through hull fitting. Keep in mind I've cleaned this all out, all the, the, the sealant that was on it. Uh, this one supports uh, two deck drains. Uh, one kind of over here on the starboard side in front of the captain's chair and the other one in the bow which is that locker and they all drain out into the ocean here so these are all inch and a quarter through hull fittings they all fit in the hole uh, this one I bought uh, keep in mind what happens is you, you cut the hose barb off here you basically cut it off right here and it goes into this fitting and uh, this hose goes towards uh, the captain's chair this one goes towards the bow and here it screws in uh, first thing I found this one uh, coarse threads wrong thread now here's the original one you see the fine threads so I bought this one with fine threads However, the threads are larger and this part doesn't screw on. So I'm back to using the original one. Uh, did a little cleaning, some sanding. Uh, it had been painted. Uh, I was concerned that it wouldn't seal against the hull. Uh, what I'm using now, uh, typical sealants, uh, 3M4200. Um, that's not a permanent seal. Uh, 3M 5200 uh, provides a seal that only God can get loose. Um, I'm going to use silicone. <clears throat> Readily available. Um, and uh, like I say, it's, it's waterproof for the next 20 years. So I'm going to give that. Now, I've gone back. If you take a look, this is fine thread. And basically... Uh, once you get this straight, you see that it, it basically screws into this fitting. So the obvious thing is here, uh, goop up this part, uh, go on the inside, goop that up, screw the nut in, and put this on, and then start attaching the hoses. Now the other thing I've got, if you take a look, there are little slots in the through hull fitting. And it turned out I bought this little key. Let me uh, let me take this out. And I bought this little key. It's originally made for gas tanks and all kinds of things. Uh, turns out this one fits in the slots for tightening up the fitting, or basically holding the fitting while you tighten up the nut on the back. So this is relatively inexpensive. 
uh, isn't in the through hull uh, fitting section at the boat store. It's uh, it's in the gas tank area, and this does just all kind. It's a little screwdriver, and it tightens things. And what the heck? So there we go. So these two, even though they fit through the hole, uh, are not uh, compatible with this fitting. So I'll have to go back to the old one. So let me group this up and stick it in, and we'll take it up from there. Okay, fans, it's done. The hoses are put in. The through hull drain is put in. The nose here going to the to the bow. Take my word for it. It's been put in. I did my uh, my best uh, snake and caterpillar impersonation slithering into the nose walking on my shoulders to get to the to the the hose and uh, I put it in and it's done with I'm thinking that's probably the hardest hose in the boat now I gotta start looking at uh, right up here uh, gas lines, gas tank vents, all this kind of stuff uh, to uh, put that stuff in. Well, I don't know if you can see this. Somebody put a piece of teak here. These screws, the, the heads are stripped out so I can't get them out. And of course this thing sticks out and it's kind of natural when you're working in this area right in here to come in through this this hole here and of course this thing sticks out it's uh, kind of as irritating as a turd you find while cutting the grass you know uh, so I've got to do something with these screw heads and what I'm going to do is the handy dandy grinder and uh, see if I can grind out the uh, screw heads. Uh, let me uh, put on my uh, my mask here and my gloves, and we'll we'll get going. Here is using the flap disc on the grinder to grind off the, the head of the screws so I can get the uh, that little offending piece of teak uh, off of the boat. Well, most of the heads are gone. Let's see if I can Try it out. Okay, maybe I'll have to do some more grinding on this one.
Now we use the handy dandy vice grips. Maybe not, just unscrew them. Well, guess what? They're bolts. Well, I'm not going to bore you with taking out bolts. I'll likely just cut them off and take it from there. Got uh, foam in the starboard uh, uh, floor. Uh, got part of the uh, Floor put back in, ready for the rest of the floor. Uh, tested the uh, hoses in here. Um, they don't leak, so I'm ready to move on to uh, gas tank and gas lines. Okie dokie. It's another week working on the Grady White. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.